Hey everybody, Shafe the Man Two here, welcoming you guys to Um my voice not being picked up very much. By the looks of it. Oh well. Uh, go back to one, thank you. Alright. Um we were just collecting the clue bottles here. I had to make this eight times the speed just because it took me forever to find the last one. And then this ends at a random point because I had to go find the last clue bottle. And I couldn't see where it was, even though it was actually pretty obvious where it was. I didn't see it for like, forever. And so you'll, it'll end at a very random spot. I didn't go back to the live commentary segment in a completely different place than it was before. But in that segment, I show you where it was, so it's okay. At least I get all three treasures back and don't get enough money to unlock anything more than just one. And then just the most expensive of the things. And yeah, I saw the thing that you come up there, and I'm like, oh, I never would have found these. If I had not seen that. But yeah. Um, so it just continues, and I think most of this now is just me searching for the last glue bottle. It's because, like, I have 29 glue bottles at this point. No, at this point I have 28 glue bottles, and it takes me forever to find the 29th. And then I eventually find it, just to be stumped as to where the 29th one is. So, yeah, this gets, this was very annoying to record, and I'm so glad it's done, because now I'm finally done with all the Clue Bottle segments of the Sly Cooper series, until um, Sly 4 comes out, because I'm thinking there's going to be Clue Bottles in that game, but I might not be doing the Clue Bottle stuff for Sly 4, just because I hate Clue Bottles, but the Clue Bottles are very useful in this game, so maybe... Oh, and, yeah, I never, the move from here, I still don't know what was wrong with my controller that made it so it wouldn't work. I guess I didn't even try, I didn't even try to put it in a different episode, so I really should have. And I remember I was trying to, um, show off Murray's move right there, and it's basically just hold an enemy and press the button that it's Diablo, Diablo Fire Slam is set to, and it'll do fire drop. So it was pretty cool. Yeah, and then I just continued searching for clue bottles, and I found that clue bottle. And then I was like, okay, so the last po clue bottle should be around those, um, claw hook thingies, right? Big ones, or whatever. And then... I keep going around them, trying to just figure things out, but I'm like, but I'm almost like, if I had known about these hooks before, that would have been very nice, so that I could actually get across this part easier, but I didn't know about them, so I didn't, I couldn't. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm tired, I woke up just like a few minutes ago, that's why I'm, I'm apparently not very loud, because I woke up not that long ago, and sure my brother's still asleep, but honestly, if I wake him up, he will kill me, so I don't even want to do that. Okay. Um, you guys can hear the music. I don't need to tell you about it. Um, yeah, I know it's kind of weird to have background music filled in with my post commentary, but that's how I have to do it because I still want to do post commentary for stuff like this. But I also need to have some form of background music. It can't just be quiet other than my voice, that would be stupid in my opinion. So I like to have just random music in the background, it's always fun like that. And sorry if my videos aren't always in perfect sync, but I don't want to spend like 15 minutes trying to make sure they're in perfect sync, so if they're a little bit out of sync, it's okay. Because I get them as close as I can. So, not that bad. I also like how I ended the series before I did this blue bottle segment. I like how I ended the series with 644 coins, because I see the number 64 everywhere, so 644. Yeah. 
And we've only got like 45 seconds left before this is over, so... We just gotta check up on it, make sure it's all good. Yeah. I know these aren't very... I know my videos aren't very helpful in finding the clue bottles, but honestly... I'm just finding them for fun. Like, if you follow me, then you might eventually be able to actually find the clue bottles. Like, if you watch this, you'll eventually find out where they are. So, yeah, that's really how it is. I like how I always talk about the stuff that really should have been talked about a long time ago at the very end of the series. Oh well, it's gonna end right now, so see you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, I'm back for the live commentary segment. Um... It took me forever to find this clue bottle something. I had to search up an FAQ. I don't know why I had to search up an FAQ, because this was actually very easy to find. I just couldn't think of it for some reason. Stop throwing stones at me. But, yeah. Um, so, as you can see, we're over here. And let me just give you an overview, because I, I actually skipped getting to this in my um, uh, post-commentary segment. So... Let's just grab this. Final clue bottle. Climb up here. It's over there. Okay. That's getting annoying, but I'm just gonna let them keep throwing stone stones at me because I don't think they can kill me with that. And I'm you know what? I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna do that. That's too long that I would have to wait, so I'm gonna go back. over to here. I've never seen what this item is before either. The only one that I knew of, the only item that I knew of was the um, knockout dive at the very beginning. The very first clue bottles was the knockout dive. That was the only one that I knew of. So, yeah, I, I thought it was kind of cool that these would be actually surprises to me, so I wouldn't just be like, okay, yeah, we're getting this here, and this is what it does. So, yeah. I would actually have to check what it does myself and figure all this stuff out my on my own. So I thought that would be pretty cool. And we have to enter in here. Exactly where we were when we did um, Sly Murray Tag Team. Or I think it was Murray Sly Tag Team. Random piece of health in there. Okay. Sure. Why not? Um... And you can just walk on here now. And then here. Wow. Like, most people s uh, wonder how it takes so many clues to figure out a three digit code. But I think I figured it out. It's one of those things where. Oh, shadow power. It's one of those things where... Oh, wow. Let me sign it to L2. R2. L1. Okay. So this to L1. Okay, I'm guessing we just can't use it in here, so let me leave. Wait, what? Alright. Let's leave and check out this move. Like, it's the clue bottles of the final area, so it's not like it's going to actually help you that much. Unless you were using it, and then you were going to go get the clue bottles, because I think this is... something that my controller isn't activating. There we go. Apparently. Work! Yeah, my controller isn't activating right now, so I don't know what's wrong with it. It's normally really good with this stuff. Move without being seen, yeah. That's exactly what I thought it was, but my controller won't fucking activate it. Okay. 
I'm holding L1. Do people just not see me now? You know, I have to go to a guard, but... I wouldn't think you'd be like that. Dang it, whatever. You know what? Screw it. You know what the move does. If your controller works, then... Yeah. I might go back and complete the game in the Sly Collection and then use it there to show you what it does, but not right now. Just, this is over. The entire series is over. Goodbye.